Gabe on a fake, gets a block from Malone, looking, now rolling to his left, and there's nobody there. He's to the 45 and just short of the field. Gabe over the middle, and it's complete to the tight end. Charlie Young across Miami to the left. Miami almost offside, and Gabe going deep for Smith. Touchdown! Charlie Smith, the fastest guy. to Nottingham. Big hole. He's down to the 30. Across the 25. Hammer split. Greasy going back to pass. Throwing in the corner to Twilly. Nottingham. Touchdown. the way they're carrying that football. Watch how loose it is. Watch now. Watch it hang out to the side. There's no way in the world you can protect it like you should. He fumbled it. And uh, just a mistake basically in fundamentals as far as carrying the football is concerned. Good coverage by the right side. And Gabe going back to pass. And it's complete to Sullivan to the 20. To the 50. Bradley the holder. It's down. It's up. It is behind a Nottingham block goes deep and it is complete for Matt Moore at the 30 line. Slight breeze. It's up. It is good. So the Dolphins. that um, defensively uh, you scored some points offensively but I think defensively you awarded the ball to Bob Mathis and I think they, they came through with a, with a great afternoon for us. I thought the big pressure was on the defense in the ball game because we've had a lot of problems defensively and uh, we're going against one of the best offenses that we've faced with the exception of uh, Oakland on opening day and uh, Gabriel was hot Charlie Young, Carmichael, they're running backs, and our defense, especially early, really hit. They took away the running game, they put heat on Gabriel, they came up with a lot of big plays, and that enabled our offense to get the ball and finally capitalize on the opportunities and build up a lead that we're able to hang on at the end. We felt that we had to go in and stop the run today, and we did a good job on the running game, although uh, he had a couple drives against us, uh, we scored touchdowns, but we had uh, a few pass breakdowns, pass uh, coverage breakdowns, but overall we played good, tough, hard-hitting defense. What was your feeling when the uh, almost indestructible uh, Mike Colon came down with an injury and you were put right in the middle, and I know in practice you do not work the middle that much. I haven't worked the middle since, uh, I haven't worked it this year, Bob. Uh, I didn't think so. We've started our four linebacker scheme, which we have designated, pre-designated places for all four of our linebackers, and I'm always away from the tight end, and 
you know, I was, I was thrown there into the middle, and uh, yeah, it little, was really a surprise. concern. <laughs> well, I played it before, and that four linebacker set up, but it was new, and uh, you know, they hit a pop pass to their tight end in that second quarter, which was my coverage responsibility. Uh, I knew it was my responsibility, but I was slow reacting to it because I was intent on playing the run. But uh, held up was, long enough. It held up long enough, and uh, we were disorganized a little bit in the second quarter, and we lost both Steve Tal and Mike Cullen, and uh, we had uh, two new people playing different positions in there. But uh, we rallied, and the guys well, came back in the game. You made this 53 defense uh, so powerful, and we see so little of that now, and this 3-4 with the four linebackers is really turning into be uh, your strong point. Well, it's had to be our strong point this year, Bob. You know, Manny and uh, Bill Stanfield are both out with injuries still, and and uh, we've had no recourse but to go to the three-man line, and uh, we've had some uh, real fine rookie linebackers and Steve Tal and Bruce Ely and Ernie Rome and with, you know, Doug and Mike and myself, uh, you know, missing Nick. Uh, we've really had to more or less take over, and uh, with these young players and like uh, Don Reese and, and, and Crowder over the center, you know, we just pulled together, and, and uh, the guys are playing super aggressive football. We're still making some mistakes, but we're playing all out.